This video was brought to you by Stoltenberg, a bedroom planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? We are now at the branch banking new Neo Power Swap station in Vestby. So I'm here with the ES8, and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like when we do a power swap or a battery swap. So you know, Neo has been designed for battery swap, unlike Tesla, unlike many other cars. So. Uh, one thing I should mention, by the way, is that uh, the screws are designed for 150,000 screws, unscrews. Okay, but by the way, because people are going to ask about that. All right, so here we see, this is a new, <coughs> the latest version of the, the power swap station. It's actually slightly different than what we have seen at uh, Lie during the 1000 km challenge. So they still have the blue sky coming. There is a, a, a person who operates this station. So uh, once we uh, start, he will have to initiate something. There's supposed to be a door here. So yeah, the, the, this one, okay, it's not 100% complete. It just opened like a week ago or something. So um, uh, now I'm going to show you what it looks like when we do it. And also we will try to time it and see how long it takes. So in order to uh, order the, wait, wait, okay, we have to do this and then charging. And then you see that um, we have it here, Neo Power Substation in Vespi. So then you just click on detail and you see that we have nine out of 10 batteries ready. Wait, I thought there was more in uh, Elia. Elia has more, it was 13 Elia, this one is 10. So see one is being charged up now. It, oh, okay, yeah, towards the end. But whatever, what, what is important is we have plenty of 100 kilowatt hour batteries. And it seems like in Norway, they choose to have 100 kilowatt hour only because I suspect that most Norwegian customers, they went for the 100 pack, not the 75 pack. But if there will be uh, 75 packs, you can also see them here. And of course, if you subscribe to Boss 75 deal, you will then automatically get the 75. But then we have the 100 pack here, so we get the 100 packs. Yeah, so um, what we want to do now is just Order, we don't have to go there since we are here. Normally you will go there. Um, order now. Okay, agreement, something. Order now. Okay, power swap request sent. Order placed. It's now your turn for power swap. Yeah. Tap on the screen to start. So uh, there seems to be also a, a queuing system. Uh, normally you have to wait until it's your turn, but now we will have to wait for the for the message that it's your uh, my turn to start power swap. So, go to the start area. So that, what I'm going to do now is navigate or maneuver the car into the position. So the easiest way is to use the 360 camera. Just put it in reverse and you will activate the 360 camera. Very good uh, 360 camera from Neo. I think they uh, intentionally made it that good because uh, it's uh, very useful when you navigate into the spot. So now you have to just put it here. It's different on the, every site. In Lier, it was slightly further ahead, uh, for, further forward here. But as long as you're in here like this, then uh, you're fine. So put it on park. And then we can start the power swap. I'll show you, by the way, that uh, you see there are actually some LiDARs. We have LiDAR there. We have LiDAR there. There's some QR codes that this car, this car uh, reads, and also there's some cameras there. So let's just start power swap. Please park your vehicle. Please shift into drive or reverse. Okay, I already did the one that uh, she first <laughs> she realized. Okay, so then I put it in drive or reverse. Okay, please tap the button to park into the station. It's auto parking. Then PSAP really. started. Please pay attention to your surroundings and be ready to press the brake pedal and take over. So um, right now the car is uh, using all its sensors, all its cameras to uh, automatically park. And uh, actually I also uh, heard that, uh, you know those sensors, those LiDARs, those cameras, uh, this station is communicating with, with this car uh, to uh, help guide it to tell it, uh, you know, so because the LiDAR gives you information on how the car is. So this is really good because the station is giving feedback to the car. How, how are you looking? And then the car then uh, acts re or reacts uh, based on that. So everything here goes automatically. So now we're in. I didn't have to touch anything. Vehicle parked. Okay. 
And now we get this option. So you see, uh, there's some steps here, all right? But then just start Preparing. part. Preparing. This may take some time. Please wait. So now uh, there, there's a stuff there. He has to press some buttons. Eventually, this will be fully automated. But I think now in the in the start process, you see, he does something there to initiate it. And uh, for some reason, the car wants to be neutral when we are uh, in the swap situation. Power swap is about to start. During this time, the vehicle may shake and make noise. This is normal. Do not open any door, shift gears, or press the brake pedal. Okay, so now the station is preparing. Click. Wait, that, that sounded like... Um, the power switch for the high voltage battery. Okay, now the screen goes blank. Yep, so um, uh, they don't want to drain the 12 volt, I'm assuming, because uh, even, even if the main battery is out of the car, you still have 12 volt battery that could power the door and lights and whatever, right? Now the car is being raised a little bit. So I have a camera outside the, on the tripod filming it. I don't remember all the process, what's going on. Okay, there. <laughs> Some violent sounds. Yeah, now the, the screws are unscrewed. That's the one I was talking about. It can take 150,000 <laughs> cycles, screws unscrews. They are designed for it. So everything goes automatically with robots. So I can, uh, by the way, we tried to time how long it takes. So I hesitated a little bit uh, before I pressed OK, but uh, we can just deduct a couple of seconds, but you, you get the idea how fast or, or slow this one is. So while we are uh, here now, uh, I tried to leave the car, but um, during 1000 km challenge, that uh, messed up the whole uh, uh, pr uh, process. So we had to restart again and back up in again. So um, you're supposed to not, you're not supposed to leave the car. You just sit in here because it goes really fast anyway. It's like filling up gas. And by the way, there was also a light there. It said that it's red. Uh, in Lier, it was like a red cross uh, sign. And then uh, there was like an arrow, a green arrow once we're done. So I guess if you're new to this, just look for that red light. Uh, as long as the light is red, then you shouldn't uh, move or yeah, you shouldn't leave the car or do anything, but it's fast. So now, I don't know what it's doing. Okay, whoa, whoa maybe the new battery is in now. I heard a bunk, I felt a dunk. But also, this is a Gen 2 swap station. The Gen 3 swap station will be even faster. I'm not sure what's going on now. Maybe the screws are being added again on the new battery pack. Okay, the car is being lowered a little bit. I think we're done with that process. And this is the part where I'm kind of wondering, okay, so the new battery pack is in, but uh, we are not ready yet. So uh, is it doing some kind of sa safety check or something? Because it will, okay. Um, because I, I, I kind of feel like, I heard a little click there. That was like uh, amplifier fired up. Typically, the, that uh, that little crook, tuk, boop, boop sound when you turn on the amplifier, or something. Something is getting powered up now. But yeah, I get the impression that um, when I look at it from the outside, that uh, there is a lot of there's some downtime when you know we are wondering, okay, what what is the car doing? Um, what is the car? What is the car and the station doing? Uh, it doesn't seem like it's doing much uh, other than maybe running some, uh, let's say, you know, almost like handshake in an in a high power station. Because, you know, hand, uh, actually handshake on a high power charger takes longer than... Oh, it's green. So I'm going to show you something. It's green now. 
but you will see that the screen is still black and now it comes on. Okay, this was fairly fast. So now we can just uh, go out, we can drive out, we are done. So that's it. Normally you want to drive right out. Uh, I'm just uh, let the car stay in there because I had to shoot some video. But uh, that was quite fast. And you see, uh, it was actually more or less the same speed as filling up gas. Because, okay, you saw that it was kind of slow all the parking. But remember that for when you fill gas, at least in Norway, you have to uh, first initiate paying on the machine. Or you can go inside and pay, but that's going to be even slower. Uh, so we prefer using the card for paying but not only that but um, uh, once you're swapping you can actually do something like use your phone or you can use both hands you can eat you can do whatever during that swap uh, session but of course uh, except that you can't leave the car but when you're filling gas you have to have one hand on the nozzle because of safety i think in norway you are not allowed to lock the the nozzle and then you can just do something else so actually, in a way, this one is better and more convenient than filling gas. That's my claim. So anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoy this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.